So now we can create a user and log in if it's successful, but what about logging out? So let's go do that. Let's create a user. I deleted my account previously and we can go and create a new one. We're logged in, but let's add a logout button. So the way to do that is we're gonna go into our routes.rb and we're going to add a delete request for logout. And this is going to go to a new controller called sessions and this is going to go to the destroy action so we'll go into app controllers we'll add a new file sessions controller.rb we'll open that up and add sessions controller application controller as usual and we'll add our destroy action now in this it's going to be very simple we will say our session user id we wanna get rid of that. So let's set it to nil. We'll get rid of that and it will not exist anymore, which means our main controller is going to have this fail. So it will never try and look up the user. And that's going to save us um, or allow us to log out. And we'll never be logged in until we go through a session that creates and sets that session ID again. So now we can redirect to the root path, which is usually where you want to redirect when you log out, and we will say notice um, logged out. Just something simple. And now we need to go and add this somewhere to our application. So right now we have this saying, hey, if you're logged in, we'll print that out. And actually let's move that down here. And we will now add a link to log out which will go to the route that we added. And if you don't remember what your route is called, remember Rails Routes will repeatedly do this so you can get used to doing it. You see we have a route called Logout now, so we will say Logout Path. In this one we're gonna do something a little bit special. We want method delete here, or the other option is that we can do a button to log out, log out path, and method delete here. Now the links, links on a page are normally get requests. And so by doing the method delete, there's some JavaScript that comes with Rails that will transform that request into a delete request for you. Now it's more correct to use a form for delete requests. And so that is what the button to generates. And if we refresh our page, we'll see logout as a button in HTML. And this is actually wrapped in a form. So we have a hidden form with the method delete. And this is one of the tricks about how the web works. The forms actually really just support get and post. And we have to specify a hidden field inside of our form for the delete method, which is kind of interesting. But Rails will understand that and it will submit a delete request to your application, which will go to the sessions destroy action. So from here, we can click this now and we will be logged out. And the button two is really the way to go for this because it's going to be more semantic. And this is actually something that brand new versions of Rails that were using um, Hotwire are going to require you to do this. And so things are changing a little bit in the Rails world. All the time before I would have used the link to method delete, but now I'm gonna recommend using the button to because it's gonna help you in the future if you use Hotwire. And you can check out the GoRail screencast for Hotwire if you wanna learn more about that, but it is quite a bit more advanced than what we're gonna get into in the beginner series. So take a look at those in your free time. Um, and that is really all there is to building logout functionality. And the next piece we need to build is log in. So we've got an account, we've logged out, and we want it to go look up the account and log into it. So let's go do that in the next video.